Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's... Oh, sorry, Mike. It has already begun. It's past 10 o'clock now, so I'm allowed, so... Well, when I'm recording this, I'm recording this directly after the, um... EA conference! The slight problem with that being the... Ubisoft conference starts in literally half an hour. So... Time to blaze through the EA stuff! Which should be fucking easy, because most of the time they said fuck all. They first started off with Mass Effect 4, or Mass Effect Andromeda, as it is official now, with title screens and stuff. Mass Effect Andromeda. Pre-rendered video. That was it. It looked right. Concept seems alright. No fuck all about it. Then they went to Need for Speed. I've been looking for this quite a lot. They spent a lot of time talking about that you have to balance basically your skills that are speed, speed of your car, speed of your stuff, and the build, which is how your car looks, crew, your crew, outlaw, which is you against the cops, and the style, which is just drifting and all of that stuff. It seems alright. The video that they had seemed far too on rails to really be anything really it, it didn't seem it seemed far too on rails so I'm not entirely sure it, and, it, and it had a big word thing on the bottom say pre-alpha footage considering it comes out on November 3rd it's <laughs> I'm taking it as in-engine or pre-rendered stuff it looks good but don't care they said they're going to take a lot of the like the 20 years of it of Need for Speed so far so the customization of the underground police chases of the other games pursuit blah 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 basically culmination of all the Need for Speed because it's just Need for Speed that's it it's just Need for Speed then they had a brief section about the Star Wars The Old Republic because there's a new free LD free DLC pack coming out called Knights of the Fallen Republic um, yes it's Republic is that or Empire? No it's Republic uh, Knights of the Fallen Republic it's just free DLC it looks good October 27th, you get it for free if you're already a member or paying member or something I thought it was free to play, I'm probably thinking that's something else Either way, if you already have it, you're getting it free. Uh, then there's an RT game called Unravel, which seems great. It's a nice, calming RT platformer. That I like. That I want. That. If that's coming on PC, then yes, please. Um, I think by this point, it's not getting to a point. As soon as I get any sort of decent windfall, I'm probably going to end up having to get get a console now. Now getting to a point where doing my job is now slowly getting harder and harder. I may end up getting a new console, but purely under duress. Then they had a big section about Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. Uh, they showed off one of the gameplay modes, which was alright. They showed off some of the new classes they have for the game, which was alright. It just seems fine if you like Garden Warfare 1 you'll like this because it's more of the same then they had a little then they mentioned well then well went on to a bit about NHL for um because they're adding a bit called the EA the EA Sport Hockey League online rankings I'm assuming uh then there's Rory McIlroy Golf I thought it was well I'm not sure I'm not sure how long Tiger Woods has been off the billing but I don't like golf. One thing that he ended up saying a lot when they started talking about some of the sports teams and some of the sports games is like that they specifically ended up saying the line, we want to have a safe and secure play environment. Considering the associations of some of the other sports games they have, that's probably a planned line. Considering one of the games that they, they end up going for again is FIFA. And FIFA, if you if you are up with current news, yeah, FIFA. <laughs> uh, if 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 you don't know why FIFA is dodgy, then just go to Google and search FIFA. Read newspaper things; it's everywhere now. <laughs> After having FIFA executives be arrested for corruption, yeah. Then they have a little booth thing about NBA 16. When they talked about the NBA 16, they started talking about. 
uh, the face scanning thing. So, the first line I thought of when I said it's like, and look, we have the face scanning which you can do with your phone. And I, I just first thought, what demons will be born from this technology? You end up having players with like a black hole in the center of his own head. If you go to Stephen Larson on YouTube. <laughs> Uh, I think that's probably the only reason why that te- why the technology is still about, because you can just make some serious monstrosities with that thing. Then they ended up going about mobile games quite a lot. Uh, it's EA and mobile games is dodgy because of their Michael Jackson policy, because they do stuff like Tapped Out and uh, Quest for Stuff, Family Guy Quest for Stuff, which are okay in the sort of most lax of towns but then they also did bollocks like Dungeon Keeper <sighs> yeah so there's a. Uh, as for mobile games the two that they showed off was Minions Paradise a Minions movie tie in thing and Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes or aka Star Wars Hearthstone for fuck sake can Jesus, I swear every single company is trying to get a fucking Hearthstone game going. Now I just get to the point where it's just fucking annoying. It's, yes, we do know collectible card games are popular, but for fuck's sake, you don't have to make them! People are playing Hearthstone because they like Hearthstone. That doesn't mean they're going to play your shit, are they? Jesus Christ, I think, I, think, I think the only reason why the Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes is made last is because it's fucking licensed. <laughs> <laughs> Not because it's any good. Then came FIFA. Oh, FIFA, 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 FIFA. The way that they opened talking about FIFA was they brought out Pele and literally had like a 10 minute to 15 minute interview with him. <laughs> it's just okay. Yeah, it, for a while, it, for a while, it just seemed like they weren't mentioning FIFA by name, which seemed interesting considering current events as per said just go to google or whatever news station you like and just search fifa and the big thing that they're making again is the fact that you can play as the women's teams women's fifa teams and the first thought that always went through my mind every single time i hear this is for about fucking time main reason why because here in england football is a very 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 big thing the women's football team are are recent world champions. The male portion of the England football team, as we always like to fecking remember, hasn't been a champion since since what 1966, something like that. We haven't been a fucking champion in several decades. Huh? Most of the team that won it are dead. When the fucking Women's League, yeah, I think they were champions like six years ago. Why the fuck are we celebrating that? That always pissed me off. As soon as I, f- because when I found that out, I found out that they were current world champions. It was like, fuck's sake, what hurt me praising these people? And then came the one that I wanted to uh, listen about was Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Oh, I want this game. I want it. It looks great. They showed fuck all, but I still want it. They showed off a lot of... They showed the... Because the, the thing that I liked about the first one was the music and the style. The plot was kind of weak. Characters were fine. Yeah, so it's got the same sort of style, which is great. Same music, same style of music, which is great. Uh, they're saying, oh, it's in a city of glass, which is, mm, is interesting. But it's also open world and no loading screens. Open world, fine. No loading screens. Every single time someone says no loading screens, they mean has loading tunnels. So there are moments when you're just walking through a thing, or or you press a button and wait something to open while it loads up, or something like that. So, (laughs) no loading screens is sort of a flexible term. But open world, yeah, I'll take that. So So you can basically free run everywhere, picking up missions and doing things. Just fine. I wouldn't mind. It's what was supposed to be all about free running. That was one thing that always annoyed me about the about the other game. Because it was all very linear. 
and pathway like and that always annoyed the shit out of me because it's like well it kind of goes against the concept of free running and then they went on about Madden I literally just went off and had a beer literally then they ended with Star Wars Battlefront about took fucking ages they had they had to put on things like the little tag things card things in during the press conference every now and then saying oh in 15 minutes we're gonna be talking about Star Wars oh in 15 minutes we're gonna be talking about Star Wars it's like yeah because the rest of your conference is really fucking boring and you've said fuck all oh and so they brought up Battlefront had this extended gameplay stuff which was they say it was captured on the PS4 I believe I, I believe that I'm just left going okay meh I don't really think it matters what console it really is brought on and it's and it had the title credits on them as well so that immediately gives the game away where it's entirely possible this fucking thing's pretty had some editing so eh but if it looks even close to that then It'll be good. Uh, there was, trans- there was uh, well, the mode that they showed off was an AT and T mode, which is the big AT and T things going to into a base thing, blowing up stuff. Um, it showed both perspectives of the rebels and the thing. It was basically the Hoth thing for the movies. Um, it showed people go it's the the camera going from third person to first person and back and forth and stuff like that. So. Being able to go from first to third is great. That I like. Because at some points, peeking around corners is good for third person, but if you want to be accurate, first person's good, so. Third person good for peeking around, whatever. Um, but it seemed a bit too scripted. It's, this, this, this is the reason why I say it seemed edited. Um, because a part of it just seemed scripted, especially when it got to the point when you're flying around in the X, in the, you know, the TIE fighters and things. It, yeah. That didn't. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And then the continuity got thrown out the window because Vader showed up. Literally, Vader showed up, choked a bitch, and then fucking went. Zroom. And so Skywalker showed up and had to con- start a kung fu battle. But it was Luke in the old, original form of Mark Hamill. It was the, his original age. <laughs> um, which is interesting. They've certainly gone in a. It was a very striking resemblance because obviously Mark Hamill is not look like that anymore. Um, but he looked, he looked great. He looked fine. So yeah, even if it looks anywhere close to as it did, it would be fine. Wouldn't mind getting my hands on that one. Apparently, it's actually at E3. It's probably one of the big problems about not going to E3. There's loads and loads of demos for the stuff at E3. But I'm not there. I just have to just. <sighs> Yeah, I end up being the press monkey for whatever the fuck I'm given. Anyway, Star Wars Battlefront comes out November 17th. So, that's that. That's at least that. That's EA done. EA, as per usual, have most of their conference consisting of fuck all. They really just do nothing. They have a habit of just saying absolutely bloody nothing. It's really annoying because most of their stuff is just pre-rendered. Pretty much everything they did today was just pre-rendered. Even even the stuff that they said was gameplay really didn't feel like gameplay. It felt scripted, like the Star Wars and the uh, Need for Speed. It just felt on rails. Mm. Come on, EA! Jesus Christ, we like these games. We already want these games. Can at least do more than go, oh look, a pretty thing. Let's just show us gameplay. Especially for, especially during your bloody conferences. Because the fucking conferences is when the rest of the planet gets to see your shit. Rather than just the the few that end up getting at, at the conference place. Yeah, that's EA for you anyway. Yeah, EA is too used to doing that. Spending, what, an hour and a half? I don't think it was even supposed to be an hour and a half. Is if they spent ages just talking about fuck all again and showing us videos. 
<laughs> that was pretty much it. Usual EA then. <laughs>